Hello again, we welcome you to another episode, of Armchair Excursions, with the Rogue Researcher on the newly named, Rogue Researchers Channel. This is episode, number 4, part 1, in the Armchair Excursion series, Island Colorado. This ongoing excursion, will take us into the ancient western states of what is now the United States of America, from about 120 million years ago till present. First off, let me introduce myself, I'm Bradley Wilson. Wilson is my name, narration is my game, just to keep it simple, and to the point. The Rogue Researcher's quest to put a better video together, requires change, and we hope you like the changes that are coming, because I'm one of them. The evolution, and metamorphosis, the western half of North America has gone through is unique. Especially, when it's compared with the rest of the seven continents we see today. As North America moved into its present position, the continents of Appalachia, and Laramidia formed as they were separated by an inland sea. The inland sea started its incursion into the interior of the landmass, about 190 million years ago. The fragmenting activity, encompassed hundreds of millions of years, and the continent has traversed thousands of miles as North America continues, to evolve into the continent we see today. During that time span many species came and went, plant and animal alike. Using the modern names, the western interior seaway waxed and waned for millions of years, and vanished between 70 to 80 million years ago, at the same time North America was breaking its final bond from Europe, taking with it a variety of life. The geology, plants, animals and possibly ancient man, all have gone through the metamorphosis into what we see today. As we dive deeper into why I named this segment, Island Colorado, you'll see what I added ancient man to the passengers list on this 80 million year journey. During the 110 million year lifespan of the western interior seaway, many species came and went, aquatic, mammal, plant, and reptilian. Some species evolved into their own breeds, while others, were added to the extinction list. Today we're headed south of Denver, Colorado, to Colorado Springs. Where between an estimated 90 to 70 million years ago, there was an island, nestled at the base of Pikes Peak. This island, was almost 200 miles long, and 100 miles wide, and it lay just a short distance off the east coast of the island continent of Laramidia. The island was giving birth to new lands for the second time, as the rocky mountains were emerging and the western seaway retreated. The fine sands intermixed with ocean sediments as they settled on the seafloor, and the mixture created multiple layers of limestone, sandstone, and many varieties of clay, mostly shades of reddish-brown, to pure white. Layer by layer the sediments, settled and mixed with the dissipating ash clouds that were created, by the volcanic activity of the time. This concoction settled in on the top of the granite crust below, in sheets of varied thickness, and in isolated pockets, that were deposited by the western interior seaway as it waxed, waned and finally retreated. The lost continents of Laramidia, Appalachia, and Island Canada were created, when the western interior seaway invaded North America, and segmented the continent. As the mighty Rocky Mountains rose, they thrust large slabs of sandstone upright, creating colorful formations, along the front range of the Rocky Mountains. The Dakota Ridge fault line, traverses the front range, from northern Canada, into Mexico. Over the course of time, the layers of clay were dissolved by the elements, and exposed the sand and limestone layers in the vertical slabs of stone, that created the canvas, for the Garden of the Gods. The story goes much further back in the timeline, one billion years ago give or take a few million years. That was when molten rock started to cool and eventually created, the Pikes Peak granite, that the Rocky Mountains emerged from. At the beginning of the early Jurassic period, 
Some 200 million years ago, North America was still attached to Northern Africa and the European continent, about the time Pangaea started to fragment. North America's geology tells a story that we need to listen to in order to gain the perception, where the picture of the geological history emerges and connects with the nature it created. The point being, when we understand this little bit of knowledge and add it to the possibilities in front of us, we're able to connect dots that paints a picture that can't be denied anymore. I have to step back, repeat myself, and ask, are we just too small to see it, or is our scope too narrow? Have we been compartmentalized to the point we can't place the missing pieces in the image that geological time presents? Attention needs to be paid to the importance of these ancient monuments cut into stone. The Garden of the Gods, are sacred lands to the Americans, native to the Pikes Peak region. Sleeping Giants, Shadow Art, and Maki Maki, may be new terms in your vocabulary, but they work for me. I needed a system, to catalogue the various methods, the ancients used to create these works of art. Shadow Art and Maki Maki are facets of these ancient art forms. So, please join us on our next episode, where the rogue researcher will take you deeper down the rabbit hole, that started this quest over five decades ago. The Garden for the Gods